Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be continuing on with this dragon animation before we do I'd just like to say if you'd like to subscribe if you're not already and make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified of future videos so if you've been following along with this tutorial series we, you saw that we did a bunch of animation layers here there's just a few more to create before we can actually start the animation properly so what I'd like to do is create a new flap animation. Uh, you see at the moment it looks kind of casual. Uh, the animation I've got planned, this is fine for the beginning, but then I'd really like, to him, like him to build up some speed. So what we're gonna do is create a new animation layer by actually duplicating this flap. So what we're gonna do is just right click on the flap and go to duplicate layer Make sure you don't go to no animation, it's this one here you want, duplicate layer. And what this does is create a direct copy of this layer. Um, we want to make sure we lock this one for now, because we don't want to be selecting keys and messing around with this. So we're going to lock the bottom flap layer. Select this top one here. We're then going to select all of the NURBS controls. And then go into the graph editor. And select all of the keys like so. And if you used to try and manually scale this, it might go a bit wrong. A uh, more accurate way to do it would be go up to Edit, Scale Options. Make sure you've got 0 0.5 in this box here, and Scale Keys. So you'll see now we created a new layer with a more energetic flap. We're able to take the weight off again and go back to Glide, and then switch on our original flap layer. That's a lot more casual. That's those layers done. We've got two more to create and we're going to create a left and right and then we are ready to start animating. So we create these layers exactly the same way as we usually do. So select everything on the dragon and go up to this button and create two new layers. So let's start with the left layer. So make sure you've got it selected in here and select your main root joint. And if you are using the head lock, then make sure you select the head as well. Um, and just simply rotate so he's at a 90 degree angle like so. And then set a key. So what we'd like here is as he's banking, we want his back to kind of follow that arc as well. So we're just going to go ahead and pose him as if he's coming around a tight corner like so. So start arching his back up and his neck towards where he's turning and then have him look in that direction as well and just try and create a nice C shape in this direction. Once you've posed him, just give it a test by slowly dialing on the layer and you'll see him start to bank over, like so. We're over to 90. I don't know if he'd ever actually lean this far over unless it's an incredibly tight turn. But it's good to have the option. And you want to go ahead and do exactly what you did for the left on the right layer. And then we are layer complete, so we're ready to start the animation. So once you have all of your animation layers complete, you're ready to start animating. The idea was for me to do quite an elaborate animation, but obviously that's gonna take quite a bit of timing. I know some of you are actually waiting to start your own animations. So I'm gonna quickly talk through how I quickly roughed up this animation, uh, just to get you guys ahead, and then you can go ahead and watch what I go ahead and do for my final animation. So let's just talk through what's going on here. Um, so you wanna make sure that you do all of your animation on this control here. So it's not the hip control, it's the actual main control. So all of the forward motion and some of the rotation is done on this. And then you can go through and simply key on and off, you know, the weight to as much as you want for all the animation layers. So let's take this left turn here, for example. If you select one of the controllers, you can bring up the graph editor. And if you select if you select um, it on the left, whichever layer you're, you're after, you're actually able to edit the curve 
of what's going on. So let's have a look at this left turn here. So you'll see as he turns, I'm just dialing on the weight and you'll see it move up and down here. Um, so the way you do this is, say I wanted him to turn all the way left on this key, you simply just slide this all the way up and hit the K button and that will add a key, which is then you can go back to the graph editor and tweak as you want. Um, it's the same with the flapping. So as I've got him coming along here, he is doing the slow flap. He then switches all the way down to zero, if you watch here. That goes down to zero, so now he's in glide mode, with a bit of noise added. And as he turns the corner here, I then add the fast flap. So you'll see that go up to almost one. As he turns the corner, then it goes back to glide. It's just, it's just a case of dialing these on and off however you want. It's best to get a lot of your animation done on this main control first and then go ahead and just layer on top what you'd like him to do. So I hope you guys found that helpful and I look forward to seeing what you guys create with this system. I'm going to continue with my animation and plan it out properly and then the next video will be me starting that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.